The music industry is hard. Making professional sounding songs yourself is hard. Getting attention for your songs is hard. A university degree doesn't guarantee you any degree of success in music. Have you ever asked the question, there is so much good music coming out, so how do I make a mark? Or have you ever said something like, I wish I just knew somebody in the music business who could tell me exactly what to do to be able to break into the business. Well, this is exactly why I started the Full Circle Music Academy. The Grammy Awards, the number ones, the Billboard and the Juno Awards that I've won. I still almost can't believe that I've been able to achieve these. And I know so many people out there who want to achieve these same exact things. Now, there isn't any one path to achieving this level of success, but I can certainly tell you things that I've learned from my experience. And so can other pros who partner with us every day to teach you about various aspects of making it in music. Now, in this video, I'm going to share with you some of why I started the Full Circle Music Academy. And I'm going to give you the seven main reasons of why I started the Full Circle Music Academy. So here we go. I wanted to give other musicians what I wish I could have had when I was starting out. I was born in a tiny town in Ohio called Circleville, which isn't famous for anything except for pumpkins. No music industry whatsoever. I didn't have any formal music training, can't read music, I still can't read music to this day, and didn't have immense family resources or connections. All I had was a passion for music and a little bit of talent to get me started. I was fortunate to get the attention of a manager and a producer early on, and they helped me get to the next level. But even working with them, who they were in the industry, even working with them, there was so much that I didn't understand. And there was so much that I just took their word for and actually did wrong. Now, what I'll say is it probably took a few years longer than it should have if I would have known the right things in the first place. So the Academy exists to help musicians understand what those right things are. So that's number one. Number two, if I'm successful, it's only because if there's a mistake in the book, I've made it. And any pro friend of mine that has made it in music has made a lot of these same exact mistakes. It's easier to learn from others' mistakes than from your own. One of the biggest mistakes I made was when I was a touring artist and I was just too focused on the numbers, not on the relationships. Ultimately, your only goal as an artist, when you go out to play shows, it should be to build relationships with fans and industry gatekeepers. I was too focused on the merch table, how we were gonna put gas in the van, too focused on just paying ourselves, paying the guys. Yes, these things are all realities that you have to deal with, but they aren't the main goal and they should not be what takes all of your focus. I've made mistakes of sending out demos too early to industry pros before the artist was ready to share. I've made the mistake of not being prepared for sessions and showing up not knowing who I was even working with and uh, showing up bringing any good ideas. Like I said, if there's a mistake, I have made it. And this is a huge reason I created the Full Circle Music Academy because I wanna help you learn from my mistakes. Now, reason number three, there is a lot of smoke and mirrors in the music business. Lots of people in the industry want it to stay that way because they're scared of losing their position or their work. There are really two paths that anyone can take when they achieve success. Number one, they stay open-handed and bring others along for the ride. Or number two, they close their fists and they hold onto their success with a tight grip, shutting anyone else out. Number two is what I see most of the time. And I created the Full Circle Music Academy as a platform for the people who want to do things the opposite way. Reason number four is that I ultimately believe that we need better music than what is coming out today. You can call me a little bit old fashioned, but I want music that is at the top of the charts that I'm okay with my two little girls listening to. So much of what's out there now, I would never in a million years play it for them. Sure, it might be catchy, but what's it actually saying? Half the time, it's not saying anything worthwhile. Now, I created the Academy to help up and coming musicians who really care about quality songwriting. And I know that it's worth it to dig in and find better ways to say things and how it's being said most of the time. 
If you want to be, you know, the next Cardi B, then what our academy has to say is probably not for you. The world has enough people out there looking just for the fame and the fortune at any cost. They will do anything just to get famous. But if you want to be the next Dolly Parton, the next U2, the next Coldplay, the next Michael Jackson, the next Kanye West, maybe the Full Circle Music Academy has some value to help you on your journey. Reason number five is that I wanted there to be an alternative to seeing people invest hundreds of thousands of dollars on expensive degrees in songwriting, music production, and music business. Now, I'm not anti-college, don't hear me say that, but I also think there should be more truth out there from the traditional universities and the educators on what the reality of the music business actually looks like. No one in music, I mean no one in music cares if you have a degree. It's about great work, great songs, and great artists. And it's about the hardworking teams of people around them who enable those artists to have a big platform. That is it, period. I'm not hating on universities. We do internship programs and apprenticeships with many of the great music universities out there. And for some students, it can absolutely be the right thing. But I wanted to create the Academy as a lower barrier to entry than going $200,000 into debt. If you want to try your hand like I did at not going the traditional four-year college route, then this is a great option. No songwriting degree is going to make you a hit songwriter. No music business degree is going to guarantee you a job in the music business. It's you. I am all for investing in yourself. I just think there needs to be a different way than what is traditionally taught us. And with the Academy, I'm excited that we can be a part of that solution. Reason number six is that I wanted to provide a platform for others in the industry who have a passion for wanting to teach and help bring the up and comers along. My friend Jordan Feliz and I recently did a joint songwriting training together, and it was so much fun to see his fans get to learn the rules of songwriting from him. It's an amazing experience for a super fan to get to learn from their favorite artist. The fans were so thankful for the experience and the knowledge that he had to share and he was so thankful for the opportunity to be able to do so. And we were able to help him out financially in that season when COVID hit and tours were just getting canceled left and right. He's one example of many that I've been able to work with alongside and helping give back and bring along the next generation of music makers. So many of the people I've met in the industry have this desire to help. They just don't have the place to effectively do it. Now that's a big problem. It's a problem that our academy is working hard to solve. And reason number seven is I believe that the most valuable resource we are all given in this life is our time. None of us know how much of it we're gonna get, but some seem to take the same 24 hours in a day and make so much more out of it than others. How is that possible? It isn't just about hard work. I know so many musicians who have worked their tails off only to hit wall after wall after wall. Hard work over a long period of time does not guarantee success. You have to be working on the right things in the right order if you wanna have any shot at success in music. So I created the Full Circle Music Academy to help aspiring musicians know what to do and how to do it. So as you probably can tell by now, the Full Circle Music Academy is a huge passion of mine. And I'm so glad that I got to share with you today a little of why I created it. Now, part of my vision for it is that no matter how you interact with our Academy, you will get so much value. I want our free content, just like the content you're watching right now, or my Instagram page, which is at the Seth Mosley, or our Made It In Music podcast, which we will put links to all of those in the description below. That's all our free content. And I want our free content to be better than other people's paid content. Just by being in our world or receiving our emails, you'll be able to level up your music journey to the next level. But if you do choose to purchase one of our courses, attend one of our events, or any of our other services, I promise, I promise that you'll get 10 times the amount of value that you put in in return. I didn't start the Academy because I needed another business or because I was bored and needed something to do. You can ask my wife, she'll, she'll tell you the, the actual truth. This is a passion project of mine and I'm so excited to be able to serve musicians just like you. We've already been able to serve thousands. So I hope our paths cross and we can serve you on your 
music journey. As always, if you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss more of what we're getting ready to put out.